This video is my 2011 journey. Um, I know it is only October, but I feel like I'm pretty much done with 2011. So I wrote down um, everything that I've been through um, this year. So December 2010, finally got a good primary doctor, Christy Mayfield. She is out of St. Francis Hospital. Also in December, I started wearing compression on my legs. As I came into 2011, I was diagnosed with several forms of dysautonomia. POTS, postular orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, orthostatic intolerance, inappropriate sinus tachycardia, IST, basal vagal, and neurocardiogenic syncope, and CS. Most of the time, I will refer to the above as just POTS. At that time, there were a few thoughts on places for me to go for help. Mayo, which I had heard not so great of stories from, from other POTS patients. Dr. Levine, which I was on a waiting list to be seen. I got accepted to go, but I decided not to. And Dr. Sulman at the Heartbeat Clinic in Dallas, Texas. Dr. Sulman was the choice I made. I'm happy with the choice I made. I was there for two days, January 18th and 19th. I had many tests and I learned quite a few things about myself and dysautonomia. The silly thing I learned that my feet are always freezing. They were between 28 and 32 degrees because of bad blood flow. I had many recommendations. He had many recommendations for me. Biofeedback which I never tried formally. I have tried with some other places, but just not as a therapy. Cardio rehab, I tried. It was too much time and money. They also seemed like me. they wanted me to go for the rest of my life. Slight changes in my meds, which I still do. More testing. He diagnosed me with hypermobility, Ehlers-Danlos, EDS-3. February, I started wearing compression on my arms. I went to the geneticist, Michael Kaiser in Tulsa, to get clinically diagnosed with EDS, which he did. Dr. Sulman told me to get a VNG and a EMG for nerve problems, test which I did. I got the EMG in February. It showed I had carpal tunnel in both hands, which was frustrating because I have nerve problems throughout my whole body. Before that test, Dr. Sulman was worried about my lower extremities and nerves there and was also concerned that there might be something pushing against my back causing these nerve problems. He also did, had ultrasound of my female organs to make sure that there wasn't any masses in there and that was the cause of the nerve problems. I had to wait until March to get the VNG because I had to get into a special neurophysiology Dr. Nancy Ingram to get it done. There was things wrong with that test which gave me another diagnosis secondary endoplomatic high drops it is secondary because it's from POTS and fluids being bad which the diagnosis with the diagnosis of EDS my primary and I decided I would go to Mayo I got in ASAP in May but I decided to wait until August to go to the family reunion during the summer, it was extra hot. Even with normal temperatures, Dr. Sulman prescribed infusions, saline IVs twice a week. I don't have time, and all of these things cost money. At the hospital infusion center, it cost $75 a time. I found an urgent care that is zero from $35 a time. It is nice, and they work with my primary. They think my conditions are fascinating. I have only been there less than 10 times. I went to Mayo in August and I was extremely disappointed in them. There was a several diagnoses there. One was Chiari, which was suspected, a mass of my sinuses, se severe vascular incompetence, fibromyalgia, and the confirmation of all the above diagnoses. 
my primary and I agreed that I don't have fibromyalgia. Mayo was not listening that vein pain was actually vein pain. They assumed that it was muscle pain. As they came to find out from the test, it was vein pain, and with that, my vascular issues were beyond their knowledge. I left there with no change and no new plan. So that's pretty much what's happened in 2011, and I really am tired of going to doctors. Um, this week I really needed to and um, just refused to. Um, they're not very helpful and um, my conditions are just too rare and too unknown and nobody has done any studies on them. So that's where I'm at in this year. Um, thanks. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.